Hello students, after studying physiology and functions of uh, growth hormone, in today's video we are going to discuss physiology and uses of natural growth hormone inhibitor that is somatostatin. Somatostatin is a natural peptide hormone. Somatostatin is an inhibitory hormone that inhibits production and release of growth hormone. We will also discuss pharmacology of uh, analogs of somatostatin like uh, octreotide and uh, pegvisomet. These are not natural uh, but are synthesized and are identical to somatostatin in physiological actions. Now somatostatin is also called as uh, growth hormone release inhibiting hormone that is in short GHRIH and somatostatin is produced and released from hypothalamus. Now as the name suggests a growth hormone release inhibiting hormone it inhibits the release of growth hormone from the anterior pituitary. Uh, now look at this figure this is the zoomed view of hypothalamus located just below the hypothalamus is the pituitary gland this is the uh, anterior pituitary lobe and this is the posterior pituitary lobe. Now growth hormone releasing hormone that is a GHRH and growth hormone release inhibiting hormone these both hormones are produced by the hypothalamus. Now growth hormone releasing hormone stimulates anterior pituitary to produce growth hormone. Growth hormone is also called as somatotropin. Now growth hormone stimulates increased protein synthesis. It also stimulates breakdown of fats that is lipolysis and growth hormone also stimulates the process of gluconeogenesis and glycogenolysis that increases the glucose in blood. Now all these metabolic activities are responsible for inducing growth of bones, muscles and body organs. Now as we all know this uh, hypothalamus is the control center of the brain and it maintains stability and homeostasis in the body. Now growth hormone is required for the growth of body organs and tissues Spe especially it's uh, very important for the growth of uh, skeletal muscles and the bones. Now excess synthesis and secretion of this growth hormone is not desirable. Excess secretion can produce gigantism in children where a child can grow up to the height of 8 feet and acromegaly in adults where uh, the bones of adults become abnormally thick and adults with acromegaly are characterized by large lower jaw, uh, large hands and feet. So whenever the blood levels of uh, growth hormone rise above normal, hypothalamus releases uh, growth hormone release inhibiting hormone and this hormone inhibits the secretion of growth hormone. So raised uh, levels of uh, growth hormone are uh, brought back to the normal. Now in addition to the hypothalamus this uh, somatostatin is also produced by uh, the gastrointestinal tract and it is also secreted by the delta cells in the pancreatic islets in the pancreas. Now the primary function of uh, somatostatin is to inhibit secretions of anterior pituitary. It also inhibits secretion of pancreas and it inhibits almost all gastrointestinal secretions. Uh, now let's discuss mechanism of action uses and side effects of uh, somatostatin or growth hormone release inhibiting hormone. Now as already discussed somatostatin inhibits uh, secretions of anterior pituitary, pancreas and almost all uh, gastrointestinal secretions. Now uh, let's first talk about the anterior pituitary. Now a number of hormones are produced by anterior pituitary. Somatostatin inhibits uh, release or secretion of growth hormone. Uh, it also inhibits secretion of prolactin and thyroid stimulating hormone that is TSH from the anterior pituitary. Uh, next is the pancreas. Somatostatin inhibits secretion of insulin and glucagon. Uh, 
now these hormones that is the insulin and uh, uh, glucagon these are responsible for regulating the levels of uh, sugar or the levels of glucose in the blood now in addition to this somatostatin also inhibits almost all secretions of uh, a gastrointestinal tract like uh, it inhibits uh, secretion of uh, gastric acid gastrin uh, it inhibits secretion of uh, hydrochloric acid uh, then colonic fluids so it inhibits secretion of uh, fluids of the colon it uh, inhibits the secretion of bile uh, cholecystokinin vasoactive intestinal peptide uh, secretin and motilin now as somatostatin inhibits the secretion of motilin it also inhibits uh, gastrointestinal motility and uh, in addition to this somatostatin constrict blood vessels that supply the blood to the gastrointestinal tract and thus somatostatin reduces uh, the blood flow to gastrointestinal tract and uh, as somatostatin inhibits gastrointestinal motility it reduces the movement of food from stomach to the uh, small intestine so it inhibits the uh, process of gastric emptying so these are the secretions uh, which are inhibited by the somatostatin uh, now let's discuss uh, the uses of somatostatin now somatostatin can be used in the treatment of uh, acromegaly now acromegaly as we have already discussed is caused due to excess production of growth hormone during adulthood that is in the middle aged people now somatostatin is useful because it inhibits the secretion of growth hormone but uh, very important to understand that somatostatin has limited use in acromegaly and also in most of the other indications because somatostatin has a very short duration of action as the half life of somatostatin is only 2 to 3 minutes now in addition to this somatostatin is not preferred in the treatment of acromegaly since it does not specifically inhibit growth hormone it uh, also inhibit so many uh, other secretions as we have already discussed now uh, secondly uh, somatostatin can be used uh, in the treatment of acute bleeding from esophageal varices uh, that means uh, the bleeding from the veins in the liver and it is also used in controlling bleeding from the gastrointestinal ulcers and also in gastritis as it reduces uh, gastrointestinal blood flow now in addition to this since uh, somatostatin inhibits almost all gastrointestinal secretion it is useful in pancreatic biliary and intestinal fistulas now uh, somatostatin also reduces uh, complications after pancreatic surgery now uh, in addition to this it is also useful in diabetic ketoacidosis now diabetic ketoacidosis occurs due to excessive increase in the blood sugar that is excessive increase in the blood glucose now as somatostatin inhibits secretion of uh, glucagon uh, from the pancreas it is useful in diabetic ketoacidosis uh, it is used as an adjuvant or as an add-on uh, drug in diabetic ketoacidosis. Uh, somatostatin is also useful in the treatment of uh, secretory diarrheas associated with the carcinoid syndrome. Now carcinoid syndrome usually causes ex excess secretion of serotonin now let's see to the side effects of uh, somatostatin now general side effects of somatostatin are fatigue weakness and uh, depressed mood now gastrointestinal side effects of uh, somatostatin are steatorrhea steatorrhea is characterized by excess fat in the stools now excess fat in the stool occurs due to reduced secretion of bile as the bile is required for the digestion of fat then uh, another side effect is the diarrhea then hyperchlorhydria that is a deficiency of hydrochloric acid then dyspepsia that is indigestion nausea and vomiting
Now, since somatostatin has a very short life of uh, two to three minutes, uh, its use is very uh, limited, and uh, thus it, its uh, synthetic analog uh, like uh, octreotide is preferred for the uh, clinical use. Uh, so the major limitation of uh, somatostatin is its uh, short duration of action as its half life is 2 to 3 minutes and all, uh, as we have already discussed uh, somatostatin is also not preferred in the treatment of uh, acromegaly because uh, in addition to the inhibition of growth hormone somatostatin also inhibits uh, so many other secretions. So the synthetic analogs of uh, somatostatin are preferred. Now, uh, octreotide and uh, uh, landreotide are the uh, synthetic analogs of uh, somatostatin that are derived synthetically and uh, these analogs are identical to uh, somatostatin in functions. Now, in addition to this, uh, peg visomant is a growth hormone receptor antagonist. It blocks the growth hormone receptors and thereby it prevents the action of growth hormone. Now, octreotide is preferred clinically due, it, due to its uh, long half-life of uh, approximately 90 minutes. And uh, it is also preferred over somatostatin in the treatment of acromegaly as it is uh, 40 times more potent uh, compared to somatostatin in suppressing the release of growth hormone. So, octreotide is preferred over somatostatin for the treatment of uh, acromegaly. Uh, it is preferred for the treatment of secretory diarrheas associated with carcinoids, AIDS, um, cancer chemotherapy or diabetes and uh, it is also used uh, and it is preferred for the treatment of uh, esophageal variceal bleeding. Now, adverse effects of octreotide include abdominal pain, nausea, steatoria, diarrhea and gallstones. Now, pecvisomant is uh, used in the treatment of uh, acromegaly which is caused due to small pituitary adenomas that is benign tumors of pituitary gland that cause excessive secretion of growth hormone. So, uh, these are the uh, synthetic analogs of uh, somatostatin. So, this is in brief on somatostatin and its uh, analog. Please note that the information provided in this video is meant exclusively for students from their examination point of view. For clinical use of uh, somatostatin and its analog, kindly consult your physician. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.